Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video tutorial, we are going to learn about changing the controls of one form from another form or accessing the controls of one form from another form. So let's start. So I've created this project. Now I'll create a form in this J frame in this. So I'll click on this new J frame form and I will name this uh, form one and I'll finish this now I'll create another form right click on this and J frame form and I'll name this uh, form 2 and now click finish now uh, I'll go here uh, to this form 1 and now I'll drag in a button as well as uh, another button and a text field so I'll increase the size of this text field now I'll attach this button to this with this button uh, I'll change the text to show form 2 and now uh, with this button we will change the text hop a label on the second form change label and now uh, I'll go to the second form form 2 and now here I will drag in a label and now we will uh, change its text this label text will change and later we will add a button to this uh, form so I'll go to source of this form now I'll create an instance of this form too so I'll create it here so I'll use form public static form to instance semicolon now and this uh, constructor I will use instance equals this which refers to form 2 and now I'll create uh, if I go and show you this uh, J label one it is uh, private and I cannot change this so I'll go at the top and create public J label LBL semicolon and import and now here I will use LBL equal to j label control space one semicolon now i'll go to form one and now um, i'll double click on this to create its click event so the click event is created here so i'll use uh, here new form uh, two dot set visible true and now I'll control is it now I'll uh, go to design again and here I'll uh, uh, double click on this uh, change label and uh, I'll use here I'll go to its click event and here I will use form two dot instance dot lbl dot set text j j text control space one dot 
get uh, text and now I'll go to design and remove this default text from this JTX field this one and now let's run the application and let's check it now the application is running so we will uh, show form 2 and now I'll drag this to a side to this side and now I'll enter here hello from form 1 and now if we change label you can see that this text is changed on the second form now we will use a button here and we will change the text in this uh, text field so for that I will close this and go to the source of this uh, form 1 and I will go to top and here I will do the same method form public static form 1 uh, instance semicolon and uh, form instance equal to this semicolon and now I'll go here and uh, I will use public j text field uh, txt semicolon and now I'll import jtx field and uh, this txt will equals um, j text field 1 semicolon now we will go to form 2 and uh, here I will add in uh, go to design and add in a button button which is this one and uh, I'll name base add text to field and now I'll double click on this so here in this button click I will use form uh, one dot uh, form instance control space dot uh, txt dot set uh, text and now text changed from form 2 and now if I run this application and now if I click on this uh, show form 2 and now if I click on this button add text to field now you can see that here we have uh, added uh, text change from form one uh, form two so that's all for today i hope you like the video if you like the video please like subscribe and comment thank you